Time to shave. Good morning, ladies and gents. Well, we're gonna try out our new razor this morning, one I've had in my drawer here for a while. The Wilkinson Sword Classic Safety Razor. Uh, I ordered this, I think, off of it's either Amazon.com or eBay. You can get it off either place for about $8 US, so very inexpensive. And if you want to start shaving with a safety razor, this is one of the cheapest options out there. I haven't tried it, as you can tell. It's, already, it's still in the package. So let's cut this thing open and see how it shaves. I'm also going to shave with this palm olive for men, the German-made shaving cream. I think it's German. Is that right? Well, somewhere on there. Yeah, well, yeah. German is, well, I don't know. I'm just going to shave with it. Let's just shave with it. And I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to do a face lather uh, with this vintage brush that was sent to me by JR. But first, let's open this thing up without cutting ourselves. Don't want to do that. All right. Now, it is, it comes with some razor blades. I don't know how many are in there. But it, uh, it's, it's plastic, so it's kind of lightweight, but there's a little metal inside. So there's metal inside there. And uh, let's see how many blades are in here. We got, slide it out here. How's this gonna slide out? Is it gonna slide out? Come on, yeah, come on, you can do it. Am I doing something wrong here? Wait a minute, bear with me. It's a now with the feather, they just sort of slide out the top. The feather ones, but this one, I'm hard time figuring out. Cut. Oh, there we go. There we go, I figured it out. It slides out this side. So there's a piece of paper that comes with it. Don't try to shave with this piece of paper. File 13. Here comes the razor blade. Come on, baby. There we go. So the Wilkinson sword, I've never tried these razor blades, but we're gonna try it today. Uh, I'll unwrap it first, and this is where you gotta be careful. Unwrapping a fresh razor blade. Just be careful not to cut yourself. There it is. Scary, right? It's not scary, just be careful with it. <laughs> All right, now let's do the razor. How does this thing work? So it, oh, look at that. Bottom unscrews, and this little top pops off. Ah, it's a two-piece. So the, the handle rotates, and then it lets go of the top part, which is all plastic. So it's mostly plastic, it's very lightweight. Uh, there's a couple little blade uh, guides there for that strange shape that's in the middle of all razor blades. It's just a guide for different kinds of, uh, of uh, razor handles. So place it right on top there and then place the head of the razor back on. And with this one, let's see if I just twist it. There you go, it goes back down. Tighten it up. See how much blade is showing on each side? Now I did a little research and there's a lot of reviews of this uh, Wilkinson Sword safety razor. And a lot of them say it's real mild. Let's find out. I like an aggressive razor. So let's see if this is aggressive enough to handle it. Now there's some grip lines on the side of the head so you can get a hold of it to tighten it even more if you need to. All right, I took a shower as usual. I got my little basin full of water. I'm gonna splash some hot water on my face. Got the brush here. Now, the last time I tried this brush, which was like the first time, I used too much water. So I'm, I'm not using as much water as I normally do with my synthetic brush. And I'm gonna put that much. I'm gonna put a little bit more soap than I think I need. Just to see what happens. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's where that goes, right on the floor. Just when you're done with your shaving supplies, just throw them on the floor. Let somebody else pick them up. All right, so then I kind of spread it around on the head, just kind of, you know, uh, smells good, it smells soapy and clean. All right, now this is not very wet and I'm not used to using a, 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 a brush that's not very wet. This one I can get soaking wet and it works beautifully. So I'm still working out this, uh, this fine 100% badger hair one. Make sure I get the right amount. What I found is, because it's real animal hair, badger, the badger's tail I assume, is it from their tail? 
that what I'll do is do a face lather like this and get it pretty much good on there. This is pretty good, there's not enough. I maybe could put a little more water, but I'm just gonna stick with it like this. And then I just kind of smooth it out so I get like a, an even coating, like frosting. Mmm, frosting. It smells so good, this palm olive. It smells like barbershop, you know. Barbershop uh, clean kind of soap, you know. Look at that. All right. Clean off my mouth, nostrils to a certain extent. Let's try this baby out. Now, when I hold it, there's a little bit of a... The, the metal inside the handle kind of moves when I, when I get into the water here to warm up the, the head. And there we go, get the angle right. Oh yeah, this is a very lightweight razor. It feels like I'm uh, shaving with a disposable cartridge razor. It's so light, so plasticky. It seems to be cutting the whiskers down fine. And that palm olive made some good lather. Now, actually, I can feel the blade fairly well, even though it's a very light razor. I wouldn't call this mild. Because I think there's a lot of blade exposed. And that's the difference between a mild and an aggressive razor, is how much of the blade is exposed from the, from the head of the razor. And if you've got sensitive skin, you might want a, a more mild shave. Maybe this one was right in between an aggressive and a mild. I'm not sure. It's just the first pass. Let's hold off judgment till the end. Now I can tell you that there's nothing like using a real metal handled safety razor. There's nothing like the feel of that. And the weight allows you to, it helps you to shave, you know, because you're using the, the weight of the razor. But this one I feel like I gotta press a little bit harder, but I'm, I'm gonna try to resist that urge so I don't get razor burn with a, with a new blade. But having said that, if you can't afford a, you know, $30, or more expensive uh, safety razor, you know, and you want to start trying to shave like this. This would be a good uh, uh, beginner's kind of training wheels kind of razor because it's very cheap. And then once you get the hang of shaving in this way, if you maybe you're used to using an electric razor, there's the first pass. Put some more water up. Get back the old brush. Um, yeah, so this is a very an expensive way to start your journey towards wet shaving with a safety razor. I tell you, I like to use a combination of many different styles of shaving. Like there, and more often it seems lately, have been more mornings where I've been just lazy as all get out, and I'll get the uh, the electric razor out, and just to like just I don't I don't want to go through the whole thing, you know, you know making. Even get the Barbasol. Some mornings it's just too much. So I just use the electric razor. So you don't have to stick to any one kind. Just do what works for you. And say hooey to the naysayers. <laughs> yeah, I'm in your face. Yeah, I'm aggressive. Yeah, look out. All right. Now I am feeling around here uh, sort of a razor burn feel. Like maybe I was pressing too hard because I was thinking this was too light, or maybe it is aggressive. I don't know. Second pass. I'm gonna go lighter this time on the second pass because there's less to get rid of. Now I was in a uh, antique mall this past weekend and I came across a few vintage safety razors, some old Gillettes. Not fat boys, but they were the the slim ones, so it looks just like a fat boy. It was an adjustable butterfly, you know, screw the bottom and the top opens up. And they were only $15. And I thought about getting one, but I didn't, because I already have one of those. But they're out there, so if you want, you can get inexpensive vintage Gillette razors, which are still work beautifully. But I did find something that I did purchase that I'm going to feature in an upcoming video I'll keep it a secret right now, but it is not a safety razor. What? Heresy. What did he buy? A Gillette Mach 3 from 1995? No. 
but it is an old razor. But it's not an old safety razor. You'll see. You'll see. It's something special. I wanted to buy it and share it with you guys and gals that watch these videos. Okay. I'm going very light. I haven't had any nicks with this razor, so that's good. But I also feel like it's not... I don't know if it's the razor blade. You know what I should do the next time I try this? I might not make a video about it because that'd be boring. Is uh, put one of my feather blades in this razor and see how that affects it. Because it may be the blade. It may be the Wilkinson sword blade that comes with it. All right. So let's, let's do a little, little check here. Because I don't... Cause there's lots there. But there's always lots there when I'm done with the second pass. Always along the jawline, what jaw I have. And then right here on my neck. So I might, and then of course under the nose. I'm gonna do one more. One more little quick problem area. I don't wanna do my whole face again. But I still got lots of, watch this. And if you, if you get to the end of shave and you don't wanna keep doing the, the brush, you can just take some off and put it up there like that. Yeah. Experiment a little bit. See what works for you. All right, there we go. Just the problem area. Okay, let's do the uh, against the grain at an angle here to get that very light, even more light than the second pass. But I am feeling a little bit of blade burn, a little bit of razor burn down here. So be cautious if you do buy this inexpensive safety razor. You can feel it afterwards. Okay, gotta get in my nose. You can hear it. Oh, I forgot to put music on in the background, dang it. Well, just hum along, won't you? You can imagine some classic jazz in the background from the likes of Dave Brubeck, Vince Guaraldi. Sure, why not? Oh, right here, I gotta get that. That bugs me when it's all prickly right there. And a little bit there. So you go at different angles if you're, because your hair grows in weird different angles too. So sometimes you got to come at it from different angles. Don't do too much. You don't want to get razor burn. And I think, eh, it's not a great razor. Or maybe it's the blade. Do you blame the razor or the blade? Or do you blame the man? I don't know. All right, I'm going to wash off with cold water this time. Ah, that feels good. Ah, excuse me, won't you, as I spit water all over my sink. All right, so the Wilkinson Sword Classic comes in this package. Like I said, it's on eBay or Amazon for, you know, about seven, eight dollars, depending on which one. Uh, ooh, look, it's already getting grungy. You see that white? <laughs> the black shows the white soap. Anyway, um, I'm not going to use this razor again because I've got some really nice ones that I love using. But I wanted to try this because someone kept asking me, you need to try the Wilkinson sword. I, actually, you know what? I'll try it one more time with feather blades. I won't make a video of it. But uh, I'll let you know in a future video how that worked out. Because it's fine, but it's not great. It's good. Like, it'd be a good travel razor. Like, if you didn't care about losing a safety razor, like, you know, if you lost your luggage, throw this sucker in there. If you're not going to be going for, like, a huge amount of time, then bring one of your good razors. But, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not great. It's cheap. And you get what you pay for, right? I learned that the hard way when I was younger. Buying cheap scotch. Oh, that hangover. I still remember it to this day. But by four o'clock, I was eating a big box of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, that made it all better. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that, I tell you what, aftershave. It is a lifesaver. Feels good. All right, so the Wilkinson Sword. Uh, gotta wash out my brush, gotta wash out my little bowl. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope this was interesting to you in some way. If not, then uh, go watch PewDiePie. 
<laughs> Believe me, I'm not the PewDiePie of shaving. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't mind the revenue. I am the Bob Ross of shaving. I'm gonna stick with that. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, stay tuned for that, uh, an that vintage store purchase, uh, the antique store purchase that I got, a vintage, safe, a vintage razor that is not a safety razor. What could it be?